Okay, last topic I want to show you very practically because uh, remember I said, do you have time for learning? And many people say they don't. So let me just show you one practical example where all your time goes. So I, the headline is stop sending, start sharing. Um, what you typically do is when you share documents, you use email probably. So you have basically, let's go through that flow. You have a document on your hard drive, then you send it to someone, you have a copy in your, in, in your outbox. Then you have in the receiver's inbox a copy. This one has to put the copy down basically on the hard drive to work on it, to review it or do something. And then it goes all the way back. So a copy in the outbox, a copy in your inbox, and then you store it on your hard drive. Might be a SharePoint or some other document storage. But this means for every such cycle, you create seven copies of your document in this type, in two versions even. If you do that now with five or 10 people, and maybe the file has even 10 megabyte, you can imagine the waste in time and bandwidth in, in carbon footprint. So what, what is your energy level here when you do that? And does anyone find the latest version of it? No. So alone in this example, you can save so much time by using the cloud, putting the documents or the learning content as well somewhere in the cloud and let everyone work on this one document in a sharing mode. And I promise you this, will, uh, this alone will save so much time for storage, for archiving and for finding stuff uh, you need. So if you need time for learning, make time for learning. You won't get it.